Hey guys, it's me, 91 And once again, the Walking Dead character bios. This time, I'm talking about Mitch. Yes, Mitch was the next one to die. Now, in the first episode, not really much is known about Mitch. He only has a couple lines, and they're said if you go to talk to him when he's with Willie at dinner. You wanna see something cool? I wanna see. You see him making a weapon, which kinda tells you that this guy can probably take care of himself. And not much is really known about him until we actually see him at the greenhouse. When he goes with Clem and Ruby to get the barbed wire, that's when you really find out more about his character. And what is the biggest part about Mitch's character? Well, protection. That's what it is. Mitch really has a strong protection aspect to his character. He wants to protect the base. He wants to protect his friends. We can even see that in the way he died. So it would appear that the biggest point that they wanted to get across to us about Mix is that he's a protector. Well, that and explosions. He also has a pretty brother-like relationship with Willie, where he's like the older brother, but that really spawns once again to his whole ability to protect people. He probably saw Willie as this young guy who probably, I don't know whether he was picked on or not at the school, but probably Mitch saw him and had to protect him. And that's where this whole older brother, younger brother relationship started. And you can tell that they really cared about each other. I mean, Willie is really the only one bawling his eyes out over Mitch when he dies. So it's really just one of those sweet moments because could, you could tell even though Mitch is supposed to be this like hard guy, he definitely has that soft spot for Willie. And when it comes to protecting his friends, he is more than willing to put his life on the, on the line. Other than that, though, not much is known about Mitch. He has a brother relationship with Willie, and he's basically willing to do almost anything to protect his friends. And bombs. Yeah, Mitch likes bombs. Sadly, just as we were getting to know him, his protecting skills kicked in, and he put his life on the line and unfortunately lost to Lily. Now, the truth be told, I think the developers just wanted to show protection, defense as his biggest attribute. And they really got that across. So I'm not sure exactly what Mitch would have added had he survived episode 3. He's another one of those characters like Marlon to me. He kind of fulfilled his purpose. So in my mind, I just don't see if Mitch survived doing, bringing anything of huge value to the third episode. But what do you guys think about Mitch? And do you guys think he should have survived to episode 3 at least? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.